like she'd always come in the week before the baby was due and then stay as long as you wanted oh. to after, but she did not there. Did she? Watch a bit of brandy on its gums. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of teaspoons of sugar in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> not that, I'd be, seriously. I don't I don't I'm from Hinkley in Leicestershire. I'm Nick. I'm a service desk analyst from Liverpool. Beginning of a week that will see Article 50 triggered on Wednesday, the Prime Minister will say she wants to build a more united nation. Tomorrow, the Scottish Parliament is expected to pass a vote in favour of seeking a new Scottish independence referendum, which Ms Sturgeon wants to hold in autumn 2018 or spring 2019. Theresa May, though, has said now is not the time for it. Our Scotland correspondent Lorna Gordon is in Glasgow for us. Lorna. Yes, Simon. Number 10 says of the relationship between Theresa May and Nicola Sturgeon that every political relationship has its own dimension. And certainly the public stance between the two leaders over the past two weeks has pointed to a relationship which has its challenges, particularly when it comes to the issue of the timing of any possible second independence referendum. It is a week in which two unions will dominate the Prime Minister's agenda. One, the EU that the country is leaving, the other, the UK, a union Theresa May wants to keep together. The precious, precious bond between England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Her first visit after taking office was to Scotland. Now in a week when she triggers Article 50, she's back again. Meeting Scottish police officers to discuss counter-terrorism after last week's attack at Westminster. Security one likely area of consensus when the Prime Minister and First Minister meet later. Agreement in other areas may prove more challenging. My position isn't going to change, which is that not is, now is not the time to be talking about a second independence referendum because uh, it wouldn't be fair on the Scottish people to ask them to make that decision uh, when the facts aren't clear, and also because now is the time when we need to pull together to make sure we get the best possible deal for the UK, including the people of Scotland. A majority of voters in Scotland opted to remain in the EU referendum. I believe that it would be wrong for Scotland to be taken down a path that it has no control over. Nicola Sturgeon says her government has met a brick wall of intransigence in the negotiations to protect Scotland's place in Europe. If Theresa May didn't want the, the union to become lo lo looser, she's not going a very good way about it. She needs to treat... ...your relationship with Europe. The Scottish Government has sought compromise with the UK Government. It's now up to the UK Government to respond to that compromise. Tomorrow at the Scottish Parliament, the SNP and the Greens are expected to vote in favour of the right to call a second independence referendum. Both sides in this debate on Scotland's future appear as far apart as ever. Talks later, yes, but little sign yet on how this constitutional disagreement will be resolved. Well, let's go to Lorna live now in Glasgow. And in terms of this meeting, these two women, just how cordial will these talks be? Well, certainly number 10 say they hope the talks will be constructive, but it really is 